Good day, I am Ira Lopez of BSN 3T and today I will be performing the return demonstration for the procedure of transdermal patch application. So the purpose of this uh, procedure is to deliver medication such as hormone, narcotic analgesics, cardiac medications, and nicotine. So for the assessment, we, first we need to assess the patient's allergy. Also, we need to check the expiration date of the medication before drug administration. We also need to review the assessment data and laboratory data that may influence the drug administration. And also, we need to check the site if it is clean, dry, and free of hair. So now for the planning, we need to gather and prepare the needed materials such as the medication patch, the gloves, scissors, the washcloth, soap, and water, also the client's chart and medication administration record, and also additional PPE if indicated. So moving on now to the implementation or uh, the procedure itself. So first, we need to gather and prepare all the needed materials on our bedside table here. And then we need to check the uh, medication order against the original order and check the patient's allergy on the client's chart. So assuming that we have check all the needed um, informations, we will now uh, perform hand hygiene. So after doing hand hygiene to prevent the spread of microorganisms, we will now prepare the medication for one patient at a time. We also need to check the expiration date of the medication and also the uh, we need to do calculations if necessary. So for this procedure, um, we don't need to perform any uh, dosage calculations. So once we are done, we will now identify our client and uh, do this using two data. So it can be the client's name and birthday. So good day, ma'am. I am Ira Lopez Po, your student nurse for today. So ano pong pangalan niyo at birthday? Diana Lopez, September 27. Okay po ma'am, so thank you po. So after identifying our client, we are going to perform necessary assessments such as checking the client's blood pressure and heart rate. So we also need to explain the procedure and action of the medication to our patient and check for allergies. So ma'am, uh, kukunan ko lang po kayo ng blood pressure, okay po, and yung heart rate po ninyo. So, ma'am, mataas po yung bupinya niyo. Check ko lang po yung inyong heart rate. Ayun po, ma'am. Thank you po. So, ma'am, uh, may allergy po ba kayo sa gamot? Wala. Okay po, ma'am. So, uh, goods naman po na wala po kayong allergy sa gamot. So, yung ibibigay ko po sa inyo ngayon is um, nitroglycerin patch po. So, ginaga yung nitroglycerin patch po or NTG patch natin ay isa pong uri ng vasodilate, vasodilator. So, ibig sabihin po nun, um, pinapaluwag po nito yung uh, daluyan po ninyo ng dugo. Okay po, ma'am? Okay. Alright po. 
So after doing that, we are now going to uh, put on our gloves. So now that we are done putting on our gloves, we are going to assess the site where the patch is to be placed. And then we have to look for any irritations or breakdown of the skin. And also we need to um, check if the site is clean, dry, and free of hair. So as I have assessed in here, the old patch of the client is placed on the uh, chest. So now I am going to place the patch on the upper arm of our client. So as I have checked, the skin has no irritation and no breakdown and also the um, area is clean dry and free of hair so once we are done checking the site we will now remove the old uh, medication patch so ma'am tatanggalin ko lang po ito So once we uh, remove the patch, we are now going to fold it in half with the sticking uh, side facing together. Then we will dispose it according to the agency policy. Then also we need to clean the site using soap and water. So I have here my soap um, and also my wipe for a more um, easier cleaning. So... Assuming that I have cleaned the site of the old transdermal patch that uh, we, have, we have applied. So we are now going to um, remove, the, uh, remove the protective film of the patch that we have. So we need to remove the protective film. And then we need to write our initial together with the date and time of application at the label side of the patch. So once we are done, uh, we will now remove the cover of the patch without touching the uh, medication surface and then we will apply it into the skin of the patient. So using the palm of our hands, we are going to press the uh, medication patch firmly in the skin of our patient for about 10 seconds and then we have to remember that uh, we cannot massage the patch since it can um, promote um, faster absorption of the medication so once we are done putting the medication patch to our client we can now remove our gloves and other uh, PPE use and then we need to perform hand hygiene Then after that, uh, we also need to document the medication administration right after we administer the medication to ensure that uh, we have already given the client the medication ordered by the doctor. And lastly, we need to evaluate the client's response to treatment within appropriate time frame. So, uh, okay po ma'am, uh, tawagin nyo lang po ako if may naramdaman po kayong kakaiba sa sarili niya. Okay po ma'am? No. Okay po, that's good. So, that concludes my uh, written demonstration for this procedure. Thank you.